of the hypotheses of Lucy Gray Baird's destiny following the Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Rachel Zegler offers her opinion. The film, which serves as a prequel to the original Hunger Games trilogy, is based on Susan Collins' book of the same name. It follows a young Coriolanus Snow as he mentors District 12 tribute Baird and experiences his first glimpse of the capital in games. Similar to the book, the film leaves certain unresolved issues at the conclusion, such as what happened to Baird after Snow shoots her while she runs away, leaving her body undiscovered. Segler discusses the confusing conclusion of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes in an interview with Harper's Bazaar. The actress expressed her conviction that the District 12 homage is free at the end of the film and her hope that Collins would provide a more detailed response in the future, with a particular focus on Lucy's eventual destiny. Survival is Lucy Gray's primary objective throughout the movie. She is surviving not just Snow but also herself and her fellow tributes. The times she appears sober are when, in my opinion, she realizes she's gone astray and flinches a little when Coriolanus touches her chin. That's when she realizes it's either do or die and wakes up from her own act. I'm constantly considering what happens to my characters while the viewer watches the credits roll. I would want to believe that Lucy Gray is free. However, I'm hoping to hear it directly from Suzanne one day. What was Lucy Gray Baird's true story? Regretfully, nobody is fully aware of Baird's fate following the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Though Collins has never provided a comprehensive response to the topic of her whereabouts, rumors continue to surface. The contrary theory to Zegler's is one that is widely held. It is possible that Snow killed Baird and that's why no evidence of her has ever been discovered. Snow may believe she hears Lucy singing, but when she's gone, the Jabberjays around may have been imitating her. It's possible that she suffered fatal injuries but made it to a hiding spot before passing away. Things would become less confusing with Baird's death since it would clarify how she managed to avoid being discovered by Snow and the influential capital. Others, on the other hand, agree with Zegler that Baird survived. The actor makes a compelling argument that the entire narrative revolves around Baird's survivor status and how she defeated overwhelming odds to win the Hunger Games. It seems doubtful that she would leave so quickly as a result. That still begs the issue of where she went in the Ballad of the Songbirds and Snakes after fleeing from Snow. According to some beliefs, she fled and made her way to District 13, which was kept secret by a peace agreement with the capital. According to one idea, she could have even married in District 13 and given birth to President Coyne, who appeared to harbor personal grudges against Snow. Maud Ivory is most likely the connection between the Covey and Katniss, although there is also a hypothesis that she is Katniss' biological grandmother. Baird's fate in the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is unknown, but perhaps viewers aren't meant to know, so she will always be Snow's unresolved mystery. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.